and Forgotten Empires and Rise of the Rajas, things well, like H that. Well, HD in general is a different version, so it's exactly it, it doesn't affect it at all. Just like these fancy features and things like that we have here, um, overlay and all of that, that's not available on HD. Uh, speaking of HD, on the 8th, I will be streaming, and that'll start at 1600 GMT. I hope to see you all there. I will upload a video onto YouTube, but it is a Capture the Relic event, and there will be four games, three qualifiers, and one final. It's going to be really good, so I hope to see you all there. We've had a lot of big-name signups. Jacoby Carter, welcome to the T90 Elite. Dave, we're here in game two, and this is Fortress, Aztecs. Um, is Metal there anything is that... Learning. Okay. He's I was the say. boar, but where is he taking it? What? I guess he's just running away, so it goes back near his. Yeah. CC. Okay. Now he's gonna. Okay, smart move. Smart move. And Dracon, does Dracon see his boars at the back? He does not. Oh my God! Look at the line of sight on both. Now they wander into view. Oh now it's yeah. Back into view again. But still. Oh, that's awful. That's that the is two awful. places they could be. And. Let's hope he, might... he sees them when they wander in. Yeah, he's going to see it with the eagle now. I wonder if he will be tempted to call a re here because it's so late. On Fortress, your so. resources... You yeah. On Fortress, your resources are so different. You start with farms already there you can start working on. Uh, you have standard resources in your base, but you have towers around. So we'll see what Dracon chooses to do. So there's sheep. Well, Is last time, people? before he called a re, he said... Is there sheep? Six outside. <laughs> There's no freaking sheep here. <laughs> Six outside of walls. There's no sheep anywhere on this map. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how long it takes Metal to figure that out and what he says. Okay, I think well, Metal had a better start than Dracont, though. He got his boar in earlier. Yeah, I agree. Okay. He's not on the berries. Didn't need to make a mill there. These guys are going to get up to the castle age. I think we can talk about the differences in times when that happens. They're going to skip through the feudal age, go to the castle age because of all the walls and the towers. Now, as Aztecs, I kind of want to talk about the possibilities. Metal is a very strong arena player. He may be tempted to go forward and go with Monks and Siege, but then again, he's up against a, an Aztecs player, so that might not be as easy for him when they have the same strengths. If you look on the front of his base, his wood line, that's his only wood line, man. So if crossbows came in, that could bother him. His golds are there as well. I don't like his map in comparison to Rukant because Rukant has all the safe resources. Yeah. So I'm very interested to see if they're going to boom or what. So they're talking a lot here. Yeah, I see that. Um, Kant might lose his eagle. No, nope. he's good. Goes out away with it. But like the problem with going monks push here is that there's so much compared to arena. Arena, the edges are all wood, so your opponent can't run there. But on this map, your opponent can run to the sides, to the back, yep, to everywhere to avoid that monk one TC push. So I don't know if that's the greatest decision. And you have to deal with the hours. Air towers, watchtowers that are all over the place. Not to mention that there's a lot of space in between these players too. You care to win? I don't. Bull crap. God, your problem. <laughs> <laughs> now shut up and play. <laughs> uh, I I have to be honest. I like how Dracon is dealing with this. Yeah, Metal's just tossing out any excuse. I'm just really tired. See? Here we go. I think there's too much space in between the bases Mute. for a monk rush to work. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls a mute in the chat. Oh my gosh. Like a baller. Oh, that was perfect. Wow, that, that gold kind of sucks for metal. I don't have sheep outs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if your cunt says he stole them. <laughs> oh man, what a game. Gwil, welcome to the T90 Elite, man. WTF. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> the mind games are hilarious. This is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> oh, man. What are these guys rated? Oh, you said, what are these guys? What's their elo? Well, this is not on HD, but they would be well over 2K on HD. This is on Voobly. They're 2K on Voobly, so. Maybe some improvement by a balance patch. Smiley, oh my god. I think metal metal's played on. I think I saw him on HD. Yeah, I, he's he? over. He's over 2K. He's probably but the like thing 2K is, 2K two or 2K four. Yeah, or something. yeah. I mean, these guys. The thing is, once you get to this level, you've no competition on HD. So, it's hard. Once you get above 2K on HD, it's hard to like find people to play against. So it's hard to say who's best, unless you're Tato or Viper or Doubt. You know, some of the players who are top Boobly players. But uh, actually, Viper's in my chat right now. Trying to do a triangle and get denied. Scrub? Uh, he did a pyramid in my chat the other day when I had one viewer. Like a oh, pyramid. That's what it's called. Idiot. <laughs> well, that, that's the only time you can do it. That's sad. Sad. Anyway, now Fast Castle's coming in, and I am really curious to see what these players will choose to do. A little bit later Mark for Dracon. For both. I guess they're going to want to prioritize the relics, but like, how are they going to finish off the game? Aztecs is such a weird choice because they're so far apart from one another. Like Spanish yeah. would be so much stronger with the conquistadors, man. Like, what are they going to do? Get a castle up and go Jaguar warriors? No, of course not. Like Frost they can't bows? even see that many relics because it's such a big map, right? Yeah. Like it's going to take them forever just to even scout the relics, let alone go get them. Well, this might mean that we will have a longer game, which will mean more salt in the chat, which is good. Well, I mean, if it goes here. too long, Metal's going to die if you listen to him. Yeah, it's true. This is and a giant map. This is a giant map. <laughs> so let's look at the scouting. You can see Dracon on the right side is scouted out one relic and uh, one extra gold. It's not really that important. And you can hmm. see metal. Oh, barracks. Barracks. Okay. Okay. He already had a he already had a barracks at Jinx. the back. Like I don't know why he's building another one. He yeah. has one already. Does he not Wait. realize it? Well, you know what? That one is too far away. He's going for efficiency <laughs> here. I bet you a hundred dollars. He does not realize he had another bed <laughs> or another barracks at the back. Yeah, probably not. I assume he'll toss out some eagles, and then he will go for a monastery. Metal does not want to boom. He does not want to take this to late game. What's the plan here? Monastery with spearmen? Eagles. Okay. Yeah, eagles are pretty good against monks, and then another monastery. Both, so maybe he did realize. Well, the <sighs> offer's off the table. The bet's off the table by now. All right, so meanwhile, Dracon, I assume, is going to boom. On stone already, one TC, and uh, another one will surely go up. Surely! Good thing for Dracon is that his barracks is in a better position, and also he realized he had a barracks. <laughs> but three TCs right off the bat. Aztecs have a pretty good boom, especially with another early barracks. wheelbarrow. Another barracks, so he's going hardcore oh, eagles. Wow. In Castle Age. Okay. I, I hope he can kill Dracon's eagle before it picks off a monk. That would be very bad for him. His economy is already strained as it is. I just do not get why Metal would try this. He already said this is a big map. There's towers, there's there's so many reasons why he shouldn't do this. But he's trying to scout out and find where the relics are and you know what, as Aztecs, that's not a horrible move. But it's gonna get more difficult for him to do anything once the economy for Dracont builds up. He's seeding more and more farms, so I wonder if he wants to go for an imp? Like faster kind of imp with the eagles? Don't know if that's possible. I mean, he still wouldn't be able to get in the walls without any siege or... Yeah. 
There's the siege workshop now. But how is he gonna pressure three TCs, towers? Of course, Dracon could always go with his own barracks, like another barracks. That's what I would do if I were him, just push it back with more eagles. But well, if you look at the build the difference, workshop. there's only three right now. Yeah, oh, he we can spotted see the that. siege workshop uh, oh, from okay. the front. The, the reason there's only three is because, I mean, you start with those farms, so metal had enough to sustain villager production, but it's going to be bigger soon because yeah. Drakon has that second one. And also, Drakon got wheelbarrow right away, so... Oh, he's got three TCs, okay. Yep. So it's going to it's gonna continue to climb pretty much after I said that there wasn't a large difference. Battering Ram out, there's only one eagle next to it. The other eagles are patrolling around the relics. Drakon is buying food. Drakon could go for a castle, actually. He has a lot of stone. He's close to it. So if he builds a castle on his base, he'll be able to boom up behind that. Thanks to T coming in for metal now as well. This is so weird. But this is what metal does. Now there's a 14 villager difference. I always try and predict it. It's 13. Never mind. I thought I would go up for Drakon. <laughs> so what do you think Drakon should be thinking about now? Um, Getting rid of these rams somehow. And then it's like... I would have gone for Mangonels. But uh, well, I, I, I guess he's looking at getting the castle. Yeah, the castle should be enough. I mean, he's going to defend that wall or the house and the castle is going to go up and then Metal's going to have to find somewhere else to push into. Yeah. He does have villagers there, though. Put him, bring him to the back, build something, scour the land. <laughs> Oh, he's loaded his eagles up. Now he's got fast rams. Okay. Go, actually, go over there and repair the rams as they do damage. Yeah, that, there you go, <laughs> bud. This is good. Yeah, this there is good. you go. The jaguars are going to come out to batter down the rams. Villagers are helping out. This is messy as usual. He's got eagles in those rams, though. Yep. He's got eagles this... in there. Repair the ram. Repair the ram, bud. He is. He's repairing with the one villager anyway. The other one's not repairing. He's losing. Dracon's losing bills, man. Repair it. Repair the other ram. He is with one bill. If this if castle this is, goes down, I'm going to lose my mind. This is the weakest castle push I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, some eagles, no armor upgrades. <laughs> Got some monks in the back there. Got a couple villagers repairing those rams. But the bill, the bill is still standing underneath the castle, so he can still repair. More eagles coming in. More battering rams Jaguar. coming in. Convert the vills. Convert everything. Repair at the this, ram. At this rate, the castle will go down. Well, what Jirkan's, are we watching? Jurkan's sending like 50 villagers to protect this freaking yeah. thing. Like, you gotta repair the ram with that villager, man. You gotta attack the castle. <laughs> okay, what are you that, doing, bud? That's a smart wall by Jurkan just to plug yeah. the hole. Finally. Viper saying, what is this in my chat? Yeah, I know, man. I know. I don't even know. Well, it looks like Drakon has cleaned <laughs> metal's that Metal's on the way to Imp. <laughs> <laughs> metal's on the way to Imp. And he's on stone, too, so, like... I'll go for a trap again. castle soon. What is Drakon's resources looking like? He's got a lot of wood, a lot of gold. Some stone. <laughs> <laughs> How many times has Metal been pushed back? Like uh, one TC push just a little bit and then still pushed in in the Imperial Age. Yeah. Like how many times has he gone with unorthodox one TC pushes? Very weird. That castle's pretty weak too. I mean, if he goes imp and gets some trebs out, like Jirkon, oh, yeah. one's gonna have to repair that, right? But I guess the question is, is yeah, Metal gonna, gonna be able to the market to get the stone to get a castle? But he can't even buy enough right now. But is the slow arena style push going to do much on 
I mean, it'll definitely do something, but is it going to do enough on Fortress? Because, like you said earlier, Dracon can just leave the less, well, left side it, of his it base. it will if he keeps the eagles on each side of the base like he's doing right now. He's got eagles on that one side, which prevents him it's from on the pushing right. out. And if he, okay. he's got eagles garrisoned in those rams on the other side, like Dracon's trying to wall at the back there. See, he made a quick wall on the left-hand yeah, side that. at the back. So, like, he's trying to slowly extend his territory. What is Melo doing with his mugs and eagles in the middle of Dracon's base? Did it... Did... I'm pretty what? sure he just ran inside because I was yeah. overcut. Oh, <laughs> uh, get wrecked, Metal. They'll survive. For now. Castle will go up. Treb will come out. And monks, then, for Metal? I guess so. I mean, why not? <laughs> he's gonna take down that house and maybe get in there with the eagles wheelbarrow coming in for him now good investment trebuchet coming out that castle is so weak man barracks on the right really side weak. from Dracon. he's gotta be careful if he wants to take down the castle he should actually send the rams now and then use the treb at the same time Oh, there's a hole. Yeah, the eagles kept that open. Look at that. You can't build that house. The, taking the market down is actually smart, too, because Dracon can't buy resources. He's going to have to make another one. Yeah, that castle is going to go actually, down. That's actually probably going to be a big deal, taking out that market. Dracon's going to go champions? He's researching man-at-arms and building barracks on the right, but is he going to have the time and also... There are monks from metal. What are we watching? Just look at all the space in between metal and Dracon space. What is this? This is so weird. Metal is doing metal things right now. Pushing he in is. here. Ram on the TC, doing damage. Eagles killing Vils. Still twice as many Vils for Dracon. The castle has not gone down yet. It should go down with the second trebuchet though. Hopefully metal targets it quickly, 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 quickly metal, quickly, slowly, not at all. <laughs> I, I think you wanted to get the TC before it went to end. Yeah, I wanted to see how long you would go with that, so I just waited. The castle should go down, but it's not really doing anything for him right now. So long swords are coming out on the right, they will be two-handed swordsmen in a second. And now eagles are actually coming out from <clears throat> metal as well, but Yuri doesn't have the resources to get elite eagle. Also, he would be up against champions. But I Other think he castles. needs to rely on castles and monks and trebs still. And a siege workshop finally coming down here from Jacant. The thing I like about these castles from metal, Jacant has nothing to counter them with right now. So he's, he's dropping two siege workshops down, but if metal pushes hard enough with those trebs, he could do some serious damage here. If Dracon can't push out and get to other areas of the map, I think he's going to be suffocated. The champions cannot get close to castles. The monks will convert them before they get close. Dracon does not have the resources to get upgrades or even make any more at this rate. And his main gold's gone now. Does he have any other yep. gold on the left? This is bad for him. Yeah, he's got eagles over there too. Like... He's, he's doing pretty good. The only problem I see for Metal is that he's chopped through on his own home base and he hasn't expanded. So yeah. like, if Dracon could weather the storm and manages to send units that way, might be a bit of a problem. Dracon might be thinking just that because we saw that with the Goths and Korean matchup where Metal would push forward like this and Dracon would just raid. He might think, be thinking, okay, I need to do damage to him and just try and survive as much as possible. And it looks like the champions are going around to the right side, so maybe he will do that now. Looks like he has a gold next to his barracks as well. Rakan has a decent amount of resources, actually. He can continue to produce. He's going forward with champions. And Metal Vittles. needs to diversify his economy. He's taking... It's so messy. Like, he's taking gold from the forward gold at his own base, but he has no mining camp there. 
Look at his wood line. Look at his. He's just receding farms. He has nothing. He's fully focused on this battle at the front. Yep. Will it be enough? Block printing coming in now. It's gonna be. Dracon's gonna have a hard time fighting all those monks and jaguar warriors with just champions. And Metal's still raiding with the eagles. He's gonna take out that TC on the gold at the back. Metal has taken the score lead. I still think that Dracon, if he expands, he can win this game. But it's so incredibly close because there's so many villagers here. The Jaguar Warriors now going in. All of these villagers could go down for Dracon unless he runs away. Another castle. Wow, and he can take the farms as well. He probably really needs it. Dracon, Dracon has no way to take back his base at the moment because he has no siege. And those castles are just doing work on him. So many Jaguar Warriors out now for Metal. Yeah. No upgrades either, but here come the champions. Oh, he's thought better of that. Yeah, he's like, you know what? I can't commit there. There's a lot of Jaguar Warriors killing my villagers. Gave me a good line of sight. 35 military for Metal. The Jags don't have any upgrades. The champions should be favored in that fight, but the Jags with the monks. Different story. Now, I think Dracon needs to be careful because if he loses these barracks and these villagers in this gold, that could be a game changer. Oh, here come the champions. Here come the champions. Jaguars, you need to be close. You need to be close. Where are the conversions from Metal the monks? Wants, well, Metal wants to fight near that castle. Ah. Uh... Exactly. So then he can have the option of garrisoning the monks. He, he knows if he loses that monk army, it's not going to look good for him at all. And see, he's converting now. Oh, okay. Did he get heresy? I think he did yep. because I just saw the champions go down. So did we miss that again? <laughs> I guess so. Maybe it's not showing up. The same, right? Yeah, maybe it's not showing up or uh, we're just missing it. Probably the latter, but... So heresy is an important, yeah. very important choice here. And yeah, I would convert the barracks as well. So many more archery range just coming up now from Jakant. Ah, I like that move. It's gonna lose more villagers on the other side. They just sunk garrison from the tower. Um, Metal's resources aren't looking too bad. He's got a bunch of food and a bunch of gold. I wonder if he's gonna get elite eagle upgrade or even yeah. some of the infantry upgrades. Well, if he notices that's an archery range, he should be thinking, okay, he's going arbalest to counter my jaguar warriors. So now I need to switch into Eagles. It's very difficult to try and switch into Arbalest in an Aztec war when they can just go Eagles. <laughs> he was going to kill those villagers with his Jaguars, and then he figured, I need Vils. Oh no, now he's going back. Which ones? Weird. Oh yeah, you thought he was going to convert them. Five yellow villagers. I don't know if he realizes he has heresy yet. Probably. Yeah, what does Dracon have in these barracks? Ooh, a lot of Eagles. Elite Jaguar Warrior coming in, though. For Your metal. favorite upgrade. Yeah, that's a good upgrade. Gotta be careful with these traps. I know. There go the Eagles. It's pretty important. Yeah, he can't... I don't think Dracon can fight that, even with those champions. Elite Jag just shreds. Everything except Arbalest, really. If I were Dracon, I would be thinking about raiding Metal's Eco. Well, Metal's putting up a Palisade wall now, which is smart. But he needs to, like, he needs to expand. He needs yeah. to go somewhere other than that gold on the front. Uh, somebody in the chat asked, is Blue building Eco on the right? Yes, in fact, he has three town centers now. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Expanding to the outer edges of the map. You're not suffocated like you are in Arena. Here we go. Bod Canero coming in. And the Eagles coming from behind. The <gasps> Eagles are coming from behind. Big time. Oh. Big time play. How much wow. damage can they do? The monks will be healing each other. But, oh, those Eagles. Too many monks went down for metal, in my what opinion. Flank. What a flank from Dracon. Is this the game-changing moment? The Trebs will now be exposed. And keep in mind that, well, Dracon actually lost a lot of villagers. But, I think dude, it, 
Metal still might win this fight with these uh, elite. Look at Jaguars, look at the amount of villagers. Jakan so lost like 20, 30 villagers. Now the Jaguars <laughs> are still coming out. Wow, so hard to call. So much stuff went on in that battle. And, and I, I was... think Metal actually comes out on top of that because he saved his trebuchets. He's still producing Jaguar Warriors. The villager count is almost even now. And... I mean, there's still nothing from Jakant to counter the castles. Yeah, and Jakant's had a lot of idols as well. I just GG. thought for a moment Metal. that Jakant had an edge, but we're going to game nine. The Jaguars, just too strong. No, no attack upgrades, just two armor upgrades. But that elite, elite Jaguar army just ripped through everything that Jakant had. I have to agree though, the eagle flank was really really nice to see, but it was not enough. And with so many castles forward from metal, you could just create jaguars all day. Well played. That was so different, man. So different. I, there's no way that should work, but it worked. And, and we're now going to who game has nine. The advantage? <laughs> metal gonna Dude, win this? <laughs> metal has to have the biggest grin across his face right now because it was 4-1 Dracon, and now it's going to be Aztec Arena for Game 9. These guys hate each other. Metal's been whining the entire game, and Dracon has just been trying to look past it, and now someone's going to be very, very salty. Oh, man. There's the achievements economy. You can see how much gold Metal collected. Look at the food. I mean, he must be abusing the market every single game. No, Viper, his expos were only five, were like five plus two, I think. And the Jaguars had the second armor upgrade. So yeah, I think the they expos were, were doing two. like three damage or something per hit. Yep, it was five plus two. I checked right before we closed out the game. I mean, he would have he would have had a better fight, but I think like, I don't know. I think he needed to task a couple villagers to kill the Trebs as well. But I he lost too many villagers there, I think. He lost 20 villagers in a couple moments. Now, of course, he had a ton of idols on the left, but he was at 80-something. And when I looked after that fight, he was down to 67. And it was weird because I looked on the right-hand side where he expanded, he didn't have anything. But in the end, Metal suffocated him enough. Oh, I have to do the payouts for the bets. And uh, there you go.